So I ain't have to scheme. Raw diamonds on my team. Raw diamonds on lean. I took out just like a rocket. I'm gone. I lost you on high king. What's up, YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream, and once again, we are back with another video. So this time, it's kind of a similar video to what you might have seen, my shot creating post scores of the new stretch bigs. I just want to show you guys once again how deadly this build is from three-point land. Like, you can actually shoot pretty consistently with it. I'm still shooting 55% plus above from the park with this build. 66 open three currently a bronze catch and shoot bronze corner specialist the only shooting badges you get and even with this low three-pointer you can still shoot consistently you just have to have that good jump shot and take very smart shots don't take contested shots like that you got to shoot open shots if you want to be consistent from three with this build and run the pick and popper too if you run it with a guard any type of playmaker it'll significantly help your jump shot percentages and your green windows that kind of stuff like that so i'm running with two oh irl friends God. once again no. uh, jib and Taipar. um two people i know in real life um we've been playing quite a bit recently and i got this nice gameplay with them i thought i'd share it with you guys just because like i hit a lot of threes in this game and this build is so versatile it does so much you can absolutely dominate in the post with it i've had some pretty nasty dunks with it in the open court you can dribble in the open court i mean i wouldn't recommend doing it all the time but you got to be smart with your dribbles as well because your ball control is only i can't remember exactly what i'm at right now but i'm in the 60s but you also don't want a big man to be your primary ball handler that's not what they're there for but if I get the rebound and then people are covering the passing lanes, they got back on defense, I might bring the ball up, hit them with the crossover behind the back, combo those two. It does create a decent amount of space, especially the behind the back. Um, you get easy buckets towards the rim, or you get, yeah, it creates open lanes for you toward the rim very easily. You might get some help defenders on you, but if you see that extra man collapse, kick it no, out no, for an no, open no, three no, open no, shot, no, it's no, going to no, be no, cash. No, uh, no. You get Silver Dimer on this build, so make the best of it. And I definitely love that. It's one of my favorite things about this build is I get Silver Dimer on it because I am a passing big man. I absolutely love to pass. I like finding open cutters. I might throw a bounce pass, an alley-oop. Um, that's one of the only badges I have left to do is alley-oop passer. And for some reason, I get it on silver. I can't believe the passing badges that I actually get with this. I don't get flashy passer or anything like that. But I still get silver dimer and silver lob city passer, which is kind of crazy. Like, what power forwards do you know out there that are tossing lobs like that? I mean, maybe Jok well, Jokic is a center. But still, he doesn't even really throw oops like that. He's a great passer, very high IQ player. Uh, one of my favorite players to watch in the league for sure. He had a triple double where he didn't even miss a shot amazing game he is one of the most skilled big mans in the game there's absolutely no question about it this guy has some of the best passing vision in the whole league even for a big man and guard there was an absolutely beautiful play oh, that i saw on instagram from the denver nuggets um it was gary harris he was cutting he dished it to Jokic at the high post at the elbow Jokic literally held on to the ball for a second gary harris kept cutting simple bounce pass simple give and go right at the perfect time right between the two defenders easy dunk it's just simple basketball plays like that that make Jokic that makes Jokic so good and that's those are the plays that you want to be doing in 2k as well yeah. keeping it simple is the best way to play see so just make the right pass make the good passes all the time hit the extra man make that one extra pass you're going to be winning a lot more games if you do that and especially if you find your shooters like that even if he's not a shooter and he's open from the corner, stuff like that, you still hit more corner threes than you do along the top of the three or anywhere else because the corner threes are actually closer to the net compared to the outside top of the three-point line. If you guys didn't know that, that is a basketball fact. That is why so many builds can shoot from the corner or prefer to shoot from the corner or have corner specialists because it is closer to the net and it is easier to hit three-point shots from the corner and so another thing i want to talk to you guys about i actually made another new build 
I made a six foot six shooting guard pure slasher. I played a couple games with them in the park. My first game was very good. Um, I saved the gameplay on that. I will probably drop a video on that and my build. Um, I wanted to make a slasher because I wanted something to use for my streams. I don't know how much I'm going to be streaming with my post score just because I like to shoot with my post score as well and I cannot shoot when I'm on stream. I I'm on Wi-Fi right now because my router is in the basement and on the other side of my house and I don't have an ethernet or ethernet cord long enough to connect it. So if I had that ethernet connection, I don't think I would notice a little bit of a lag in my gameplay when I'm playing because there is it does slightly delay just a little bit more because you are uploading while you're playing at the same time. So it does create a little bit of a lag on my connection. So I wanted something where I can just dominate Bruh. something that would be very fun to watch. So a six foot six slasher does get 99 driving dunk, 99 contact dunk, 99 driving layup, 99 standing layup. So I got all the finishing insides. I just need to grind out my badges. Um, the only badge that I have in the gameplay that I'm going to drop, I think, is bronze posterizer. That was the only badge I had. And I was very surprised at how well of defense the slasher, pure slashers can actually play. So you actually do get silver defensive badges. Like I get silver defensive stopper, silver pick and pop, and oops, sorry, silver pick pocket, and silver pick dodger, and silver defensive stopper, and silver chase down artist. So it was very good, and I did play against a playmaking sharpshooter, a sharpshooting playmaker. Can't remember which one, but it was a shooting build. Come on! And I held him to 3 of 15 shooting. He thought he could hide behind screens and stuff like that. I pretty much predicted everything that he was going to do absolutely perfectly because it is very predictable. Absolutely predictable what these some of these sharpshooters do. He wasn't getting his own shot because I was playing great defense. He couldn't get open. They started setting screens. They started left writing behind him a little bit like that. But I just knew when he was going to pull. And even then when I jumped and I was still behind that screen, it still counted as a shot register, which was awesome. So I will have gameplay on that. I might drop that gameplay just to show you guys how good of defense the playmaking or pure slasher has. And I didn't even have defensive stopper. I didn't have anything yet. And it really does show how big of a difference Max Wingspan made. Because I could absolutely contest everything. It was amazing. And look at this three, pull up three right here. Now I was just like, all right, I'm gonna see what happens if I pull this. If I had that one man fast break badge, Oh my goodness, you could be doing this like crazy, you'd make so many more dunks. If you guys have one man fast break, that is the absolute opportune time to use it. Get a rebound, if you're open on the three, you can pull those threes, especially if you got gold, hall of fame, one man fast break. I wouldn't recommend it as like a pure slash or anything like that, but one man fast break is a great badge after you get a rebound and you go court to court with the ball. It does boost your green percentages and your makes, dunks and layups, stuff like that. Anyway guys, I went 4 for 5 from 3 point land, thought I'd show off this gameplay. Uh, like if you're new, and also subscribe if you're new, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.